In the far future, there are no TVs, no smartphones, no social media. Just beautiful and totally not boring nature everywhere. Oh, and giant robot dinosaurs, of course. Nobody knows where they came from or what happened to the ancient world of cars, skyscrapers, and funny cat videos that existed once. It's what the people who live in these times call a mystery. And it's not the only one. Years ago, Tirsa, the leader of her tribe, found a baby girl all alone in the mountains. Nobody knows where she came from, either. And since orphans in stories always bring trouble, that made the villagers a little nervous. So the mysterious child was raised outside of the village by the hunter Rost. He named her Aloy. Open wide. He soon discovered she had a natural talent for hitting targets. And watching Aloy grow over the years, helping to hone her skills, filled him with great joy and satisfaction. But through it all, Aloy wondered each and every day, where had she come from? Who was her mother? And why the heck had she been left in the mountains? Questions only Tirsa, the old lady who found her, could answer. But you're not here to listen to me go on and on. This is a game, not an audiobook. So let's join Aloy as she embarks on an epic adventure on the day she travels to the village of Mother's Heart for the first time. Oh, what better way to start the day than with some nutritious healing berries? These bushes never grow healing chocolates. The day is finally here. Like, right here. Because it's today! Well, you wait long enough. Every day gets here eventually. I wonder what Mother's heart is like. A and Tirsa, of course. What do you think she's gonna tell me? She has to know something, right? I mean, she found me, so if anyone knows anything... Oh, slow down. We have to get there first. Maybe you can work off some of that energy on the way. What do you say to a little training? I say, look out, training. Here comes Aloy! This was a big day for Aloy, all right. First time seeing the village of Mother's Heart. First chance to ask Tirsa about her mother. And first time having her thoughts and feelings narrated. installed that zip line like I asked. This would be much easier. Yeah, that hurt. How about some warm-up shots? You remember how it goes, don't you? You ready an arrow, and then you pull the string. <laughs> Very funny. Gets funnier every time you say it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Even after years of being hit, the target still hadn't learned to move out of the way. But then, that's inanimate objects for you.
I have something for you. A strange device Tirsa found next to you when you were a baby. It's called a... focus? <gasps> I won't ask why you've kept it from me all this time because I'm just too excited! Gimme! Huh. Um, do I... does it go like... looks like it goes... here. <gasps> Come on, I've waited years to find out what it does. Whoa. I can see stuff shining on those targets. Like it's telling me where to shoot. This must be so rare. Like one of a kind. Actually, Tirsa found a whole bag. Always good to have some spares, right? For friends and family? Aloy couldn't wait to make some new friends and start handing out focuses to them. They were gonna look so cool. been toasting that machine dummy since you were five, but it never gets old. Excuse me, Rost. The dummy has a name. And it's Fred. Sorry, Fred. It's okay. He forgives you. After everything Aloy had put him through, Fred had certainly earned some respect. But other machines in the wild were rather less friendly. Ticked off Broadhead. Remember, don't let it charge at you. Might be best to sneak up on it. As long as you stay in the long grass, it won't see you. Yeah, I know, but it's so itchy. Aloy had heard stories of the days when the metal creatures were docile and peaceful. It made her think that maybe destroying them wasn't the nicest thing to do. And then one would headbutt her in the face and she'd get over it. out there? I've got all the moves. Now I just have to meet Tirsa, find out who my mother was, and life will be pretty much perfect. Don't start celebrating yet. It's bad luck. Right, bad luck. Besides, there's one more thing you must face before we go on. What? Lunch. Thought you might get the munchies, so I got up early and made you your favorite sandwich. Pickle? Nice! What are we waiting for? I'm starving here! Wait. Hear that? Sounds like Mother's heart is in trouble. It's under attack! They're taking people away! We have to do something! We're too far away, Aloy. Look! There's people moving over there! Come on, move it! Let us go, you wing nuts! Let us go! <laughs> nice try, Grandma! I ain't your grandma, pasty white butt No, face. that was tears, so wasn't it? She has a stick! Yep. Ow! She's still at it! Stop messing around! Helis is waiting for us! Wow, celebrating too early is bad luck. We have to help her! Come on, let's find out what happened. Nope, 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 nope. 
Yes! <laughs> Mother's heart was far emptier than the village Aloy had imagined. Then again, a strange cult had just kidnapped a bunch of people, so the place was quieter than usual. But I'll let Sona, the villager's tough defender, fill you in. Take it away, Sona. I can't believe this happened on my watch. Cultists right inside Mother's heart. What happened? I went out to deal with some machines prowling outside our gates, but it was all part of the cult's plan. Just as I was giving this nasty broadhead a wedgie, I realized something didn't smell right. By the time I got back, Tirsa and the others were gone. How many people did they take? You know how hard it is to count without fingers. All I know is we have to save them. But... I can't leave my post again. Don't worry. We saw the way they went. We'll get Tirsa and the others back. One more thing. My son, Varl. He ran off on a rescue mission before I could stop him. The boy's got a good heart. But he's not ready for this kind of trouble. Cultists, huh? Sounds mysterious. 